Today is gonna be so good day for me. I did the perfect makeup and I also wear flip flop and short pants. Today the forecast is gonna be 26 degrees in Berlin. I just cannot wait. I feel so happy right now. But first I have to go to school. One, two, three, fuck it. vlog today. Where is she? There she is. <laughs> That's Maria. Say hi. hi. And yeah. Oh. She is Maria and now she is single. <laughs> if you want some contact from her, just leave a comment down below so I will give you guys a contact, okay? <laughs> today we are having like three classes. Yeah. Economics and social study. <laughs> which is in total is like six hours. Is it six hours? Mm -hmm. Six hours, and we already had it now four hours and two hours of marketing, and then two hours of economic, economic and, and, and social and, uh, study. I guess. Yeah. Still, <laughs> God, look at that! Who's coming? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nah. Am I in lock now? Oh well, yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hi. He's back. Back on track with the uh, thirty-two pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we left her on the toilet. I'm sorry. When you see this, don't be mad. I do it for you. <laughs> I just googled it. What is it called? The Ausbildung in English. So I think it's the better way how to explain you guys what it is like in English. So here it said uh, an Ausbildung is a form of vocational training or apprenticeship where a student attends school and works simultaneously. Simultaneously? The student gains both theoretical and practical knowledge at the same time. She's a bit excited, she can't speak. So three of us now making the apprentices. App apprenticeship. Apprenticeship. Which is like, um, it's also depend on which career you would like to do it. But for us we are making a hotel specialist. We are going to school just only one week in a month and then three weeks to work. Aus uns wird eh nichts. Hm? Was? Aus uns wird eh nichts. In English, in English, please. I don't know, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can earn some money as well. It's not that much. The range is like between 500. Um, the range is something like between 550 euro to 650 euro for the first year. It's gonna raise up every year for 100 euros. It also take up to three years, and you can or you can short the training within two and a half year if you are clever enough or you yeah. <laughs> If clever enough. If you want to do the apprenticeship as a hotel specialist, then you have to be flexible. You will be able to work in a different time. For example, like you are able to work in, in the morning, or you are able to work in from the late shift, um, 14:30, or at night. Or it depends. You be able to work in on the weekend as well. And it's a little bit tough. Even if for some German, they also said it's a little bit difficult for them. But for me, it's even more difficult because. First of all, I just been here in Germany for three years. It's everything, it also depends on the German language. So sometimes I have to work even harder than the German people, like her, for example, or he. Hello there. <laughs> Do you see this? Do you see my blue eyes? 
And here you also have the small cafeteria and the canteen is over there. But we are usually not getting food from here. We will just go in, cross the street and then go to the supermarket and get some lunch. Because I think it's cheaper from here. But here you can also get some coffee and then some cold water as well. But the price is a little bit pricey. Right now it's already after school and now we are going to Thai Park. Oh my god guys, this subway station looks so beautiful. I've never been here before. Park or the other name is called Preussen Park. During the summertime in Berlin, Thai people are always coming here on the sunny day or um, especially on the weekend and then selling some Thai food, eating or gambling. They will just do everything. And how to get in here, I'm gonna put the maps down below so you guys can check it out how to come in here. But it seems like today is not that so crowded. But it's good like this actually. Normally here it's always full but today I think it's just like the, the beginning from the season so it's not so many stops. Later I'm, I will come here take you guys with me and then you can see how it usually is. Here in this area I used, usually it's always full of the store and then there are so many um, options from Thai food for example like some some time papaya or salad. Yeah, pap papaya salad or noodle soup or so many different kind of Thai food and everything just like beginning from 5 euro or even if it's like cheaper yeah or even less this is gonna be my lunch plus dinner blood noodle soup this is actually my all-time favorite noodles every time when I'm coming to Thai park I always eating this here rice noodles and then some uh, marinade beef it's some crispy pork and then some coriander and bean sprouts and the soup it's made out of like the fresh blood i know that um, the blood noodle soup it sounds so gross when you eat you just you can't taste it yeah i know what you got I got a Thai chai. <laughs> no, it's called Thai tea. Thai tea. It's not chai tea. Okay, but it's a chai. Ich kann das machen. Yeah. Sehr yeah. einfach. Ich will das machen. Ich will das haben. I still have um, the tea powder at home. If you want tomorrow, I can give it to you. Is <laughs> it Thailand? Yeah. Wie heißt das? Thai Tea. Aber es gab so viele verschiedene Sorten davon. Ja, aber wenn du sagst, dass Thai Tea, es gibt nur eine Sorte. Do you want to try blood, blood noodles? Do you want to try? I want to see your reaction. Oh my god. This is going to be the first time that Turkish tries Thai blood noodles. Let's see if she going to like it or not. Spicy. Yeah, like yeah, because I add extra some um, chili powder and some chili vinegar, something like that. Pepper. Cheers, Habibi. <laughs> no. Cheers. No. I'm back at home. If you guys like the video, please give it a thumb up and please subscribe for the upcoming vlogs and. I hope you guys enjoy it. See you until next time. Ciao! Aber das kommt nicht in einem Doch.